Hey guys, I wanted to share a little bit about storing your oils, okay? A lot of people have been asking me how to store my oils. Um, first of all, buy yourself a case and keep them upright, um, up and down in your um, cases. We know that Young Living essential oils never expire, but you wanna make sure that they're sealed really tight so they don't evaporate and lose the constituents of the oil, okay? Tip number one. Tip number two is they never wanna be heated up with a um, flame. So a lot of people are using those little tea lights and yeah, it might smell good, but you're not getting that therapeutic grade property of that oil by, by heating it up, all right? It's just, it's just gone. It might smell good, but um, that's why we have diffusers and we, we put water in them and, they, and it runs it at a cool temp that, that keeps the longevity of that oil working the way it's supposed to, okay? Another tip is that if you're gonna share with people, make sure they're in dark glasses to save them from the sun. We know that it's not the heat from the air that um, breaks down the oil. It's the UV rays that come from the sun that are hitting the bottle, okay? That's why we have dark glass bottles. So protect the, to protect them even more, don't put them out in the sun. Keep them in, keep them in your little case here in the car if you have to, and keep them out of the sun. Um, maybe you live in cold climates and maybe you're worried about them freezing. Well, we know that our oils don't have any water in them so they don't freeze. I live in Minnesota and I can have a bottle of uh, peppermint in my car and it's minus 30 and it's still looking good when I get in the car, it's not froze. But if you're worried about um, they're a little thick and um, they look a little cloudy, just rub them on your hands like this together or put them under hot water and you know warm them up a little bit that way. Um, easy to do. And if they stay a little cloudy, they're still gonna work just as good. We also don't wanna put these oils in the fridge because that just um, invites moisture in and we, already, we don't need moisture in here because they're perfect just the way they are. Also, if you're gonna share with people and make your own remedies, get plastic that says peat on the bottom. It's one of the safest plastics and then you're not worried about you know the, the toxic stuff off that bottle um, getting into the stuff that you're using it for. So that's my two cents.